yeah good morning students in this video i will be discussing on the transitions from ipv4 to ipv6 so we have three techniques that helps in transition from ipv4 to ipv6 first one is a dual stack the second one is uh, tunneling and lastly the header translation so we will see one by one so the first technique is dual stack so in dual stack what happens both the devices are able to run ipv4 and ipv6 in parallel means both the systems means uh, system 1 and system 2 both the systems are configured with both ipv4 ipv as well as ipv6 ip addresses similarly here system 2 is also configured with both ipv4 and ipv6 thereby irrespective of the packet you can easily send the data from one system to another system because the each system is configured with both ipv4 and ipv6 and it is possible to transfer both the packets parallelly in both the systems that's what the meaning the devices are able to run ipv4 and ipv6 in parallel and it allows host to simultaneously reach that's what i told now since both the nodes are configured with both ipv4 and ipv6 so easily you can transfer the packets that is having both ipv4 and ipv6 but the only drawback is it is very flexible sorry expensive and maybe it is very flexible in the strategy but somewhat costly or expensive so coming to the second strategy we call it as tunneling so tunneling is a strategy used when two computers using ipv6 okay it means both the computers or systems are configured with ipv6 but they want to transfer that data via ipv4 reason this reason is not supporting ipv6 packet but both the nodes are configured with ipv6 so in that time what happens the packet must pass through a reason that having ipv4 that's what so what we are doing a small technique where we are taking a laser connection from here to here that we call it is a tunneling what we are doing here the moment when the ipv6 header comes they are adding one header that is ipv4 header that can support this ipv4 reason once it is crossing the reason then immediately they will remove that ipv4 header then automatically the remaining portion that is ipv6 header is passed to uh, the destination node so in this way uh, if the reason is not supporting the packet then we are just adding the uh, header that can support that particular reason and then we are transmitting such type of technique we call it as a tunneling technique and the last one is nothing but a header translation so this header translation is necessary when the sender wants to use ipv6 but the receiver understands only ipv4 so what does it mean the sender is configured with ipv6 header whereas the receiver is configured with ipv4 so there is no problem with the reason ipv6 node is supported by the ipv6 reason but the problem is the destination node can't understand that because it is configured only with ipv4 so during that time what happens the edge we call it as a edge of that ipv6 reason what happens there we are just translating this ipv6 to ipv4 using some header translation at the edge thereby ipv6 is been transmitted into ipv4 header that makes to understand easily by the ipv4 host which is at the destination side so these are the three techniques that normally we will use for uh, transition from ipv4 to ipv6 that is uh, uh, tunneling the second one is uh, uh, what i call that uh, first one is the uh, dual stack the second one is tunneling and lastly we have header translation okay hope so you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and subscribe my youtube channel for more videos bye